Hey guys, Cody here, and this is episode number one of the Footprint Tutorial Series in Unreal Engine 4. All right, so here I've uh, loaded up a third-person template uh, using 4.8 preview. Um, but it shouldn't matter that we're using a preview version because we are just uh, testing stuff out and demoing it here. Okay, so first thing we want to do is jump over into the animation. All right, so I'm just going to type anim and double click on this animation blueprint and push this tab over here. All right, then I'm going to hop into the animation tab up here in the and go to the walk. All right, I'll go ahead and hit the pause to stop that timeline. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this until I see his foot hit the ground. Boom. Once it hits the ground, I'm going to go up here, right click, and I'm going to hit Add Notify, New Notify, and I'm going to name this Foot Right. No, no. We'll say Right Footprint. Okay. And then we're going to go forward on the timeline until the next one hits, right? About there. Add notify. New notify. Left foot print. I don't know why I made that. Whatever. Okay, so let's continue on. Uh, third person uh, template run. We're going to hop in here and we're going to do the same thing. Except this time, now this is his right foot. It's going to be here already, so right foot print, because we already created it. This is the left one. Left foot print, okay, and we'll save it. All right, cool. So we got those notifies in there. Now we can just head over to the graph. Okay, so once we hit the graph tab up here at the top, we're going to go hit the event graph on the top left. Right click and hit the right foot. And the left foot. Okay, and these two events are going to be called by uh, these animation notifiers that we just set up right here. Okay, so let's pull off here and I'm going to go ahead and print string and we're going to call or we're going to say write and print string here and we'll call this one left. And this will just let us test it real quick. Right, left, right, left. Looks good. Okay. So now that we tested that, we know this is working. We can get rid of that. Okay. So now that we have these two set up, we're going to head over to the third person character blueprint. And in the event graph, we're going to right click and do custom events. We're going to call this right foot print trigger and we'll make another one and you guessed it left foot print trigger okay so we got these set up now we can call upon them so let's head back to the third person and in blueprint and I want to get player pawn now we could get player character or something but uh, player pawn is probably the best way to go and we're going to go ahead and cast to the third person character. And we will copy and paste this here. Connect this there. Okay, and now we can call that event that we just made. So, right footprint trigger. And left. Okay, there we go. All right, so that should be good for this. We're pretty much uh, uh, have it set up. So in the animation, every time the foot hits on this timeline, it's going to trigger the right and left foot, heads over to the graph. Then it shoots it over to the third person character and triggers these two. So now let's test it real quick. Print string. right and left play 
right, left, right, left. Looks good. Okay, awesome. Okay, so now we can start setting up the actual footprints themselves. Um, if you don't have the material yet, uh, you can download it underneath this video. I'll put a link there. Uh, it's just a PNG file. You can, of course, make your own. Um, so let's go ahead and import that. <clears throat> All right, so import. And I have it over here. Foot open. Okay. And once you import it, right click it, create material. And you can just leave it that same name, foot mat. All right. We'll double click on this. Okay. So here's our footprint material. Uh, first thing we're going to do is click on this box and change surface to deferred decal. And I'm going to hold down alt and click on this node because we do, do not need that. All right. So I'm going to pull off green and click and multiply. And I'm going to change this value to 0 0.2 and throw this in the roughness and I'm going to pull off the opacity multiply this by a constant which I'm going to go ahead and right click and convert to a parameter and I'm going to name this parameter footprint opacity all right so that's uh, the importance of that is we can grab this parameter later and down the road, we can modify it to change the opacity of the footprint on the fly, which will be very useful. Okay, so this pretty much does it for the footprint. Uh, so we can apply, save, and head on over into the third person character. Okay, here in our third person character, first thing we need to do is set up where those footprints are actually going to be located. Uh, based on where the foot is at any given time. So let's jump over into the viewport and under the component tab, I'm going to type an arrow and I'm going to add two of these. I'm going to call one left foot. Actually, I'm going to be a little bit more specific. Left foot arrow and right foot arrow. All right. So I want to make sure that these are children underneath this mesh. So I just drag them and once they're underneath children, I can select them. Go over here to this magnifying glass, click on it and choose what bone I want to attach it to. So in this case, I want to attach it to the right ball, which is going to be the ball of the foot. So ball R. Okay. And for the left going to be ball left boom okay so once I've done that I can go ahead and drag these arrows to where they need to be and you notice the origin point that dot right there that's where you want to put that's what you want to put directly on the ball so this one is left arrow so it needs to go on the left foot I'm going to decrease my camera speed here so I can be a little bit more accurate. And then I'm also going to change the grid setting. You'll notice how it's kind of large right now. And I'm going to do that up here. Snap size, change to one. Now I can be more accurate and get it right where I want it to sit. Okay. And now I'm just going to rotate uh, the arrow to face the same direction as the foot. Make sure it's uh, parallel with the floor. Do the same thing over here. Okay. And compile and save. And that should do it for the arrows. Uh, now let's head back over to the event graph. And all we have to do is drag these arrows right into the event graph. Really easy. And we're going to pull off of here and do a line trace by channel. And we want to make sure that context, uh, context sensitive is off. Okay, so once we do that, we need a 
Now what's going to happen is every time this foot triggers, so every time it hits the ground, it's going to trigger because we set that up. It's going to run a trace, which is just a vector, a line in space that goes from one point to another, and it uh, detects if it hits anything on the way. So from start to end is how big the vector line is. So how are we going to set that up? Well, we're going to use this arrow, which we just created on the foot. And we're going to get world location under transformation. Okay, so this is finding it in the world, giving us a vector, which is just three numbers, a set of three numbers. So we're going to add vector plus hector using the plus sign. We're going to add 20 to it. So we're going to add 20 on the Z axis. And Z is up and down. And that's going to be the start. And then we're going to go off of here. And we're going to say minus. So well, let's turn on context. Minus vector minus vector. And we're going to do 20 on this way. Okay, so now we have a 40 unit long vector going up and down because up and down is the z-axis. Okay, so pretty straightforward. We can uh, click on this drop down and say for duration we want to draw the bug or uh, draw debug which is going to show the line and we should be able to test this. So let's hit play and there we go. So you'll notice there's a little line. That's the 40 by 40 line. We're only seeing half of it because it starts at the bottom of the foot. And the uh, red square is the hit location. So we're going to be uh, dealing with that in just a moment. Okay, so let's dig into the hit and all that stuff. So Here's the out hit. So when that line, uh, when the line trace goes down, makes that hit into the ground. This is going to give us all the information about where it hit, what it hit, all that stuff. Anything you want is right here. And we're going to draw off here, and we want to spawn a decal at location. And this decal is the one we just made. So what do we call it? Foot material, foot mat. All right, so we got our decal right here, foot mat. The location, we want it to be the hit location. So the place that red box is. And we just have to set up the rotation. And I'll show you why. But we need to set up our decal size as well, 20 by 20, and we'll make it that. Uh, we'll make the height only two, so it's uh, flat. Okay, so let's see. Okay, let's go back to our foot material. And you'll see the opacity is set to zero. We need to set that to one. So we'll apply. And let's see. And there we go. Okay, so now these footprints are showing up, but you'll notice they're all facing uh, just one direction, their root direction. So how do we fix that? We can do that with the rotation here. And let's go ahead and again from the arrow that we have, get world rotation. Okay. And we're running out of space here. We'll move that down for now. All right. So we want to break rot, get the yaw. That's the correct rotation that we want, you know, that faces the way the character is facing. And then we want to make rot. 
and we want to put this into the rotation. And we need to make sure these are hooked up correctly, yada yada. And this one needs to be 90. And this one needs to be negative 90. Okay, compile. Okay, uh, so now all we have to do is pull out these. I'm gonna move these back a little bit. And we're gonna take this entire section here, right click and collapse to a function. And once we do that, we can remove one of these pins by just clicking the X up here. And we're gonna call this pin foot arrow. Okay, and this is the right foot arrow going in. So let's hop into this function and we'll pull off of the foot arrow and make sure it's connected to this. Okay, now here's some cool stuff. All we have to do is take this entire function, copy V, boom, and boom. Now we just copied all that stuff for both feet, compile, save. And now we should have uh, footprints. Awesome. Let's take off the uh, line trace. Okay, so I just need to hop back into this function, go to my line trace, and select none, compile, save. And there we go. So this has been the first part of the footprints tutorial. Um, I will have a couple more parts to it with more advanced features, uh, like applying it to multiple materials, and having it fade uh, on demand, that kind of thing. So stay tuned for that. My name is Cody. Thanks, guys, and I will see you next time.